Hi, welcome back to Dr. Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. In today's video, we're going to be covering the beta natriuretic peptide blood test, also known as BNP or pro-BNP. We're going to be covering four main things in this video. Firstly, what is BNP? Secondly, why is it checked? Thirdly, what does the result mean? And finally, what can affect the interpretation of the result? So first of all, what is BNP? Well, this blood test measures the concentration of BNP in the blood. BNP is a hormone that helps to regulate your blood volume, and it's mainly produced by the heart's left ventricle, which is the organ's main pumping chamber. The heart releases more BNP when the left ventricle is stretched from having to work harder. This can happen in heart failure when your heart isn't strong enough to pump enough oxygen-rich blood and the nutrients you need to meet your body's needs. So why is BNP used? Well, given all of this, the most common reason for checking BNP level in the blood is to check for heart failure. There are various causes of heart failure and the condition can basically be divided down into chronic, which is long-term, or acute, which is sudden onset heart failure. It's usually suspected based on the physical symptoms that you may be displaying, such as difficulty breathing, breathlessness, fatigue, or swelling, which is known as edema in the legs. If the diagnosis is unclear, then BMP can help doctors know the difference between heart failure and other problems such as lung disease. An accurate diagnosis is important because heart failure can be successfully treated, yet it's often underdiagnosed and underrecognized. So what does the test result mean? A normal BNP result implies that you may not have heart failure and the symptoms are likely to be due to a different condition. However, elevated concentrations of BNP suggest that a person is likely to have heart failure, but further tests are usually required before a more formal diagnosis is made. In general, the concentration of BNP increases as heart failure develops or deteriorates and then decreases when the condition is stabilised. So let's talk about levels or numbers. Well, the National Institute for Clinical Excellence in the UK, which is also known as NICE, currently advises that if the BNP level is above 2,000 nanograms per litre, then the patient should be referred urgently for specialist assessment and echocardiography within two weeks. If the BNP level is between 400 and 2,000 nanograms per litre, then it's important to refer for specialist assessment and echocardiography to be seen within six weeks. And if the BNP level is less than 400 nanograms per litre, it's important to be aware that a diagnosis of heart failure is less likely. If this is the case, then they advise the doctor to consider discussion with a physician with a subspecialty training in heart failure if clinical suspicion of heart failure persists despite this. Finally, is there anything that can affect the BNP levels? Well, drugs such as ACE inhibitors, beta blockers and diuretics can decrease BNP concentrations. It's important that you inform your healthcare professional if you're taking these medicines so that the test result can be interpreted correctly. Don't stop taking these medications without consulting your healthcare professional beforehand. Finally, increased levels of BNP are seen in patients with chronic kidney disease. Finally, if you've got any questions about BNP, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And remember to subscribe to the channel for new videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. You may also want to check out the other videos on my channel, which I hope you're going to find useful. Until next time, thanks for watching and bye.